Welcome back to Trends and Friends. Okay, get this. Strawberries, dark chocolate, and graham crackers make the perfect dessert. But how about for nachos? Well, it's Foodie Friday, and Brenda Garcia has an incredible recipe that you're going to love. Take a look. Hi everyone, registered dietitian Brenda Garcia here from United Supermarkets and Market Street. So I thought we would talk a little bit about some snacks, but we're also talking 80-20 this year, where 80% of the time you eat like you're supposed to, and 20% of the time mm, you indulge. And I'm hearing a lot of people at home have maybe a little bit more of a sweet snacky tooth. So I thought I'd talk us through some great options while also talking about ways that those help to kind of charge up our immune system because I'm hearing lots of buzz about that as well. So we're going to start with some chocolate strawberry nachos. All right, so I'm going to start with a pack of graham crackers that I just broke up into individual pieces and placed them on a platter. The great thing is you can make as much or as little of this as you need. Now I'm going to start with one of my favorites, probably one of my kids' favorites too, and it is the dark chocolate hummus. This is made with garbanzo beans, and the great thing about garbanzo beans is they're a great source of zinc. Now zinc is an important part of our immune system in helping to prevent viruses from kind of taking hold in your body. So when you put a little bit of chocolate in there, those polyphenols are very helpful as well. So what I did is I warmed some in the microwave. And by the way, if you take just a little bit of this on a cracker, it's gonna taste like brownie batter. And it's a little bit thick, so you can drizzle it on there kind of however you want, or you can put it as a dip and put the strawberries on top of it. For our nachos, I'm drizzling it on here. Now, we have another important ingredient in here, and that is strawberries. Because no one mineral or vitamin can do all the work alone, just like we're very much learning that not one of us can do the work alone, and we're important, we're all important. So I've got some strawberries that I've chopped up here, and it's a great time for strawberries. I just can't eat enough of them. You know, I tell my kids, here, here's your dessert. It's like nature's candy. And they can only take so much of that. And then they're like, really, mom? So I put them into dessert nachos in here and I sprinkle that on top. Okay, so maybe you want a more refreshing dessert. And what I've grabbed here, and I'm gonna still use my spoon because I'm gonna add a little bit of chocolate in there. And you can add as much or as little of that chocolate as you want or get it all over your strawberries. It's delicious anyways. This is True Whip, which is a, um, it's kind of like a whipped topping, but it doesn't have hydrogenated oil. So I've got that and I'm gonna stir some of those chopped strawberries in there. Now, again, you can add some more hummus in there. Now I did it, I've done a couple there and I didn't add any, but I wanna use up some of my leftovers so I have a chocolate version. I'm gonna spread this on a graham cracker. Now let me tell you a little bit of something about that vitamin C, is that vitamin C, you know, we always know it's important for our immune system, but it kinda of helps to slow down the cascade of everything that's happening in your body to fight and amp up mm, in a way that maybe we don't want it to as much. So it's an important part of your immune system. I stuck it on graham crackers. You can stick those in the freezer overnight. You might want to cover them if you're going to have them in there for a while. You take them out, it's like an ice cream sandwich. So some goodies for you, some good nutrition, and ways to help keep your family well. You guys take care. Thank you. I just love how she comes up with such healthy desserts. It's a great one. Thank you so much, Brenda. Coming up, we'll have a little more Trends and Friends, and I'm telling you, you won't want to miss it. Local musician Dustin Garrett and his wife, who is a musician as well as a local teacher. They have a beautiful performance coming up. Stay tuned.